It's so important to have good balance. This decreases the chance of falls and also increases your independence. So Emma and Richie are going to show us some key balancing exercises that you can do whenever suits you around the house. So today we're going to be looking at balance exercises. The first exercise is a tandem stand. So we're going to first set up our posture, so feet, hip distance and parallel. And then think about lengthening up through the crown of the head, looking straight ahead. So you might need a chair or a work surface to hold on to for your balance. So the first thing we're going to do is place one leg in front of the other leg. So make sure that the weight is even on both feet. So we're going to try and hold this position for about three to four seconds, yeah, and we're going to build up to about 10 seconds. If you feel this is a little bit easy, yeah, you can just begin to take the, the fingertips off your support, and then when you've done holding back onto your support, bring your legs back to that hip distance stance, and then we're going to change sides. So placing the opposite leg in front, so it's a bit like you stand on a tightrope. Again, up nice and tall, looking ahead, and we're going to aim to hold this for up to 10 seconds. Again, breathing naturally throughout, leaving go of your, if your chair or your work service if you can. And then again, making contact with it, bring your legs back that hip distance stance and relax. So our next exercise we're going to look at is a balance exercise and it's called one legged stand. So you might need some support for this. So all I would like you to do is to turn face the, face the chair. Yeah, so two hands on the chair and all we're going to do is lift one foot up off the floor, standing up nice and tall. Yeah, so we just lift one foot. That's it, we just bring it slightly off the floor to a level that you feel comfortable and then we're going to hold that position for 10 seconds. Once you've held it for 10 seconds, you can just place that back, foot back down on the floor and lift the other side. Always remember when we're doing this, we're standing up nice and tall, we're lengthening up through the crown of the head. We're trying to keep this nice good posture. Again, once you've done 10 seconds, that's fine. If you want, if that's a little bit too easy for you and you want to progress it on, you might reduce the contact with the chair. So all you would do is turn side onto the chair this time. Yeah, from there, same thing, standing up nice and tall, good posture, and we're going to lift that foot up off the floor. And remember to lift the foot that's closest to the support. 10 seconds, we turn it down to the floor, and then we can turn round. And again, we do exactly the same on the other side. So we lift that foot that's closest to the support, whether that be the chair or a kitchen bench or anything else that you might be using. After 10 seconds, just return that down to the floor and relax there. When doing balance exercises, it's really important that you try and challenge yourself. You'll notice that we have contact with the chair or the bench with our hands. If you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, you need to reduce the contact. You can do that by taking one hand off or just going down to fingertips. If you don't do that, then you'll not really have the desired effect and you won't improve your balance very much. So really give that a go. While doing these movements, it's important to remember to look straight ahead. Challenging yourself means you can see results more clearly. And don't forget to keep adding to your exercise diary so you can see your progression. And if you'd like to give some more exercises a go, you can visit the website of Gateshead Older People's Assembly, or you can give them a call.